In this video, we're going to talk about dynamic queries and conditional queries in Drizzle. Imagine that we have an API that looks like this, where we can fetch a list of to-dos, and this endpoint also accepts a query string parameter of done, where we can filter the to-dos by its done status. First, we'll import our modules, and then we'll declare our isDone flag, and first we'll make it undefined to simulate the first example where we fetch all of the to-dos. And then we will write our query, and notice that I'm not using an await yet because I want to just have the query object so we can change it with a dynamic query. And we're filtering it by the user ID. And this is what happens when we try to add a where clause to a query that isn't a dynamic yet. We'll get this error here. In order to make a query dynamic, we just have to call this dollar sign dynamic function here. Next, we'll want to check the is done flag to make sure that it's a Boolean. If it's a Boolean, then we can pass it to our dynamic query. So I'll add another where clause where the to do done field is equal to the is done flag. And then I'll call await on dynamic query and log out the to do's. For this first query, we're expecting to get back all of the to do's where the user ID is one. So let's test this out. And as you can see, this is all of user one's to do's. Now let's try changing this is done flag to true and see what we get back. So now let's run the script again. Okay, so it's an empty array, so none of the to-dos are done. All right, let's try making this false. And running the script again. All right, so let's inspect the results here. And do you notice the problem? Well, we're also getting back the to-dos where the user ID is null. So why is that happening? Well, let's take a look at the code here. So you can see that here I am filtering these to-dos by the is done boolean, which is false. So it appears that this where clause is actually overriding this clause here. So if we're going to do something like this, we got to make sure that we're also uh, adding that original clause back into here. So we can do something like this. So I'll use the and, and then I'll add another equal filter here, and then to do dot user ID is one. Okay, and let's try running this again. All right, so this is what we would expect. So just be careful with that gotcha. You know, if you use a where clause again with a dynamic query, it will override a previous where clause. Um, and also note that, you know, you can add other types of clauses like limits and offsets using this technique. You can do a similar thing with conditional queries. First, we'll get all our imports at the top. And then we'll declare our is done flag. And here is the query. So we are selecting the to do's where the user ID is one. And then here we have a ternary expression where we check that this is done as a Boolean. And if it is, we'll apply that filter. Otherwise, we'll just leave this as undefined. And then we'll log out the to do's. So let's test out this script. So I'll do an npx tsx scripts conditional query. And we see a list of to do's where the user ID is one and done is false. Let's try changing the is done parameter to true. Okay, that is to be expected. And then let's use undefined. This should give us all of the to-dos. 
as expected. 